Good day. YYZ Frank, YYZ Review for another edition of Tailgate Pizza. Good day, YYZ Frank, YYZ Review. We're way up here in uh, Georgetown, a uh, pop-up pizza shop, um, Emilio's Napolitan Pizza. Now, let me get a few things. I'm gonna post it here to watch because it's a beautiful thing. He's also an opera singer. Now, hope you enjoyed that. Now I'm gonna get to the pizza review. First and foremost, people gotta get introduced to Napolitan pizza. You have to eat it within the first five to 10 minutes. And second, he cut this, I'll put it up here. He cut this because I requested the cut because I'm gonna do the pizza review and it's not as messy. Napolitan pizza normally does not get cut. Shoutouts to Emilio, um, thanks again. And I hope this doesn't ruin our uh, friendship because I gotta give an honest score. Now, we ordered two pizzas, I'm with a friend. The reason we ordered uh, two different pizzas is because we got my traditional margarita. He even knows how I like the basil chopped fresh on top, but he cooked it, it's his thing. And he uses Parmesan for the saltiness. Remember the place in New York put Parmesan and salt, it was too salty. So, seems good, he uses all, he doesn't like to give his ingredients, but I'll tell you this, he uses some Amazon tomatoes, I don't know which one, and he uses a top brand of Doppio Zero flour. I'm a fan of one, he uses the other one. When I was told in Italy that these are the top two, one and two pizza flours for Pizza Napoli done. Uh, uh, price point, uh, we did a cash deal two for 20. He doesn't have a storefront, you have to follow him on uh, Emilio's Pizzeria Napolitan, I'll put the links and I'm gonna give it a review, here we go. So I'm gonna get one with the basil of course. Very floppy, but that's how Napolitan prints. Very little leopard crust. Two bite system, never trust a skinny foodie. Uh, tailgate pizza, uh, another thing. While I wait for it to cool off just a second longer. Summer is done. People, if you're gonna invite me to your backyards, invite me. Uh, a lot of people said they're gonna invite me, they're gonna invite me, and no one invite me. I do not just show up. You have to say, Frank, here's my address, come for pizza, and I'm there. Emilio's Pizza di Napolitana, uh, pop-up shop. Uh, we're in Georgetown today. Let's see how she goes. Good sauce, good cheese, good dough. Good. Let's do the, the thing. Uh, crunch is a little crunchier than an apple down, but it's good. Yeah. People hate this type of pizza. I love it. Any day of the week, pizza napoli down over any other pizza. This one here. Let's go. You have to, Doug Gilmore, 9.3. Now, the specialty ingredients. I think he said a pizza. Carciofi, olives, basil, spinach, and some sort of meat. Sausage with a mild honey. Remember, I always do cheese pizza because it's more simplified, it's more easier, and the way it was invented. Here we go. Now, it's good. For me, I still believe more, no more than three ingredients on the pizza. I'm not gonna score it because it's a specialty pizza. No, I'm gonna score it, 9.0. The margarita, you enjoy more of the flavoring because it's less ingredients and you could, your taste buds could uh, take them more. This one's got too much, your taste buds are all over the place. Emilio's Napolitan Pizza in Georgetown, it's a pop-up shop. I think this is his last shop of the year, but good job Emilio, keep up the good work and hope you enjoyed the review. Never trust a skinny foodie. YYZ Frank of YYZ Review, have a good day.